It's your girl Queenie and this is my life. On my mama now. On the gang too, on the drama now. Slide with me, she like my hominas. I just hit a Jerry with a Tommy now. I just hit a Jerry with a Tommy now. I just hit a Jerry with a Tommy now. You be with the rats, we don't slide with them. Catch me with my cats, then I slide with them. Edit her right out. This is Cooking with Queenie, the Thanksgiving edition. So I am here in my kitchen and we are going to get our stuff together. So I'm gonna give you a little background about this Thanksgiving. We are sharing it with our lovely family members. That is awesome because we don't have to do all of the cooking for number one. And of course, to be hanging around family members. So my part of dinner is the greens and the yams. So I'm gonna bring y'all along. Show y'all how the girl gets down in the kitchen, okay? And hopefully you learn something. If you don't, maybe if you have some uh, extra that I can do the next time, put it in the comments. You know, we all here to learn from each other. So let's get right to it. Okay, family. So I want to show you all of the ingredients that I have out. Uh, I forgot to mention that I am also in charge of the roast. We are having roast ham and turkey. So we are going to prep the roast, start the greens and the yams. So here I have butter. Now I'm gonna need butter for the yams and the roast. This is also for the roast. I have red wine vinegar, Worcestershire sauce, and of course we have sea salt that's gonna be used for just about everything. But these are the ingredients for the yams. I have pure vanilla extract, ground cinnamon, some sugar, and of course the butter. We do not use water. You'll see when I put it together. All right, and some light brown sugar. Now the light brown sugar is also gonna go in a pinch is gonna go in my greens to offset the uh, the salty. You'll see what I mean. And um, we're also gonna use it in the yams. This is the star of the show. Our roast. Garlic, of course, gotta use garlic. We're using garlic in the greens and with the roast. So this is roast stuff. These jars, no, this is greens. I'm sorry, excuse me. These jars are bone beef broth juice. <laughs> the best way I know how to explain it. Okay, so let me explain. So um, when I cook my meat on the grill, we had ribs Sunday. So, um, you know, I parboil my ribs, but you want to give it some flavor, right? So I took a th two bay leaves, some thyme, um, beef bone broth, um, and some seasoning, other seasoning, like salt, pepper, I think a little bit of paprika, and boiled the ribs in it. So this is always a good idea to have mason jars because that juice, not only does it have the fat now from the pork rib that we boiled it in, but also all of that other flavor. So instead of using a smoked piece of meat for my greens, we gonna use this, yeah. So then we have a medley of peppers. This is red peppers, yellow peppers. Oh, is that orange? Depends on how you look at life. <laughs> Green bell peppers, white onions, yellow onions, red onions. Um, of course, we're going to use that in our greens and in our roast. And of course, here we have some apple cider vinegar. That is for the greens. I do put a little bit in my greens while it's cooking. A lot of people may not, but I do. And that's why we're going to need a pinch of the brown sugar. So, 
and then to get the cook ready to go. <laughs> to get the to get the cook ready. To get the cook ready, you know. We you, you, we gotta have something to get her going. So that is what I am working with. This is my stock pot for my greens. We don't have anything in it. And so now we're gonna start with our roast. Okay, my beautiful people, queen team. We have a nice, clean, fresh roast. Roast, hi, Mr. Roast. You're so pretty. You know, you gotta talk to your food. You gotta give your food life. You know what I mean? <laughs> so we are going to start with some salt because this is gonna be sitting overnight in this pan this is for a slow cooker i always slow cook my roast if you do not have a slow cooker that is fine you just want to get a pan that's big enough that's kind of deep cover it with foil and you want to cook it on a low temperature and for as long as i'm cooking this roast in the slow cooker which is going to be about uh, my slow cooker goes kind of fast so about six hours that's as that long as you kind of want to put it in the oven so it can be falling off the bone tender however I'm gonna turn this roast over one time because we're gonna kind of brine it with salt. Now, so we're gonna go ahead and put some salt on it. Sorry if I'm shaking. Because salt, you always add a salt to a meat first if it's gonna sit overnight because it kind of brines it. I don't know if you know anything about brining meat with salt, but trust me when I say, or if you got some chicken wine, or some um your turkey for thanksgiving get you a stock pot put it with some some salt in it with some water and trust me as long as you don't use a lot of salt it's not going to be too salty okay so now after that we have a whole stick of butter trust me on this you put a whole stick of butter in with your roast then, we're gonna add the Lipton Onion Soup Mix. I don't know if I said um, that this was one of the ingredients, but baby, you cannot leave this out. This Lipton Onion Soup Mix changes the whole game of this roast. All right, so that is all of the dry that I'm going to use. So now I kind of want my peppers to marinate in it too. So we're going to scoop us out some peppers and onions <clears throat> to put in here. And I know you're like, but Queenie, they're going to be kind of soggy. Um, Actually, that's kind of the desired effect that we want in our roast. Like, um, you know, I love crunchy vegetables, but when it comes to my roast, I want the, the onions and the peppers to marinate and be just soft, just soft, just, you know, whoo, yeah, so we'll start out with that. Cover it up, all right. So now, we're gonna start with our wet ingredients, which we have the minced garlic, and to me, I'm, I'm measuring out, and this is a tablespoon that I am using, um, and watch how many I use, <laughs> baby, baby. Uh, I, I'm a no limit soldier when it comes to the uh the garlic. <laughs> there ain't no limit. There ain't no limit. You put as much garlic as you want, honey, because garlic is life. Now, if you're allergic or you don't like garlic, okay, comprende, Queenie understands. However, comma, baby, that makes it the best. Okay, so now I'm gonna add me some red wine vinegar. I'm putting it in my measuring cup so that I can kind of give it. Cause you you don't you don't have to go all the way out. We can actually mix the red wine vinegar and the Worcestershire together. So it's looking about like the mixture will come out to be about a half of a cup. And cooking is not an exact science, y'all. Listen, cooking is not an exact science because you know what I just thought about. You know what the queen just thought about. What I'm finna also put in here. Some of that beef bone beef broth. I sure am. Hang on. I didn't open it up yet. So let me pause. And we're gonna come back. I'm gonna put some of that in there. Hold on. 
Look at all that goodness. Ooh, look at all that goodness. Ooh, baby. Look at that. So that is about a half a cup. Now, if you want me to, no, I'm going to be good. I'm going to be good. I am going to put these ingredients across the screen as well. So pause, you know, take a picture, screenshot, whatever. It looks like a bunch of calamity right now. But tomorrow, once this thing start cooking, baby, this thing is going to be oh so delicious. And if you want to add, like, pepper, if you like Cajun seasoning, um, it just depends on what kind of seasoning you like. FYI, in slow cookers and things like that, you do not need a whole bunch of water. I don't know who needs to hear that. Um... The slow cooking will ex the, the will extract the juice from the meat that you're cooking, whatever meat you are cooking. So it is. It, we have an a conductor, the butter. We have a conductor, um, and all of this is going to be oh so good. So tomorrow we're going to check back in tomorrow, and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. So this is our roast right now. You're going to marinate now this goodness pretty thing and then we're gonna come see what you looking like tomorrow all right so we are done with the roast now let's move on to the greens okay so this is where the magic happens with the greens we're gonna start in the sink y'all i came here with an empty sink to show you where we start now listen this is very important and i hope if it's your first time cooking greens, that you remember that not only do your sink area need to be cleaned out well, you see I got my Clorox bleach and my soap. I cleaned it out really good, clean out. But when you do it, you also need to clean these stoppers. Cause see, you've been having dirt and carrying on, going on, and then you gonna stop up your sink with it. And then put your greens in it. And then all that dirt gonna get on your greens. Absolutely not. That is not what we're going to do. So we start out with a completely clean sink. And now I'm about to make a bath. Now the first sink, you start out your first wash with lukewarm. You don't want just cold water. You want it kind of warm um, to activate, you know, give it a good wash. Then your next two washes will be in cold. You're going to have one right here. Once you take it out, move it over. Then you'll move it back over again. This should be good. Now, we're doing three times, and I'm going to show you why. Because Queenie didn't get... Okay, y'all. Don't judge me. I got bad greens. Can you believe it? Now, listen. This is my first year trying these. And I'm going to tell you what happened. I went to Sam's Club to get some of this stuff. And this was what they had. You know, they, they don't got bunches of greens laying around. And I know that they be saying, oh, it's pre-washed. And all that, uh, 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 uh. We do not trust that. You still, if they were a regular bunch, you would take the bunch and cut them first like they did. Thank you. I appreciate it. However, we're still going to wash them over there. Like we're supposed to, okay? So the at one every bag is two pounds. So I got four pounds of greens here, and uh, we're gonna make it do what it do. I'll be back in a sec. So we got our greens over there marinating in that water. So now it's time to make the magic happen, people. So over here, I have the, like I said, the beef stock, the bone broth that I made. I added a couple things. I forgot. A little bit of cayenne pepper. A little bit of heat don't hurt nobody. You heard me, honey? I'm going to put a couple bay leaves in there to spice it up a little. The garlic, the onion, the vinegar. And we're going to put a little bit of brown sugar. But we're not going to put the brown sugar in until a little bit later. All right. So, I wish I could tell you how much broth this is. Okay. 
Actually, I can. It is one whole, um, you know how the they come in those cartons, those beef broth, <laughs> those cartons. <laughs> it's one of those. So it took, actually, it's less than that. It's about half of that. So I might add a little bit more stock to it um, because I got a lot of greens that I'm cooking. And I know you like, this stock pot looks big, but is it big enough for four pounds of greens? Yes, it is. Because greens, cabbage, blah, 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 blah. They all cook down. So even at, at the beginning, if it looks like I'm stuffing it on it, that is fine. Once the steam hit it and the leaves start to break down, everything will calm down. So I'm going to put this together. We're gonna put we're gonna put us some good. We're gonna put a lot of listen, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> Y'all know this more. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of peppers and onions. Okay. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, one more scoop, one more scoop. Can't never have enough peppers and onions. I don't know about comment, please. Let me know. Are y'all a pepper, onion, garlic fiend like me? Like, like I'm, I, I'm, I dare say I'm not even gonna mess with the tablespoon this time and just take this whole thing and just whoop whoop. <laughs> like seriously, like what am I wasting time with this tablespoon for? Because I can, I feel like garlic and onion are the keys to life. I feel like they can cure cancer. I feel like they are the ninth one. I'm sorry, excuse me. How many wonders of the world we got? <laughs> well, garlic and onion is the eighth. And I'm going to pile it in because we want this to be flavorful because we're not using any meat. So let me, I'm going to give, give me a second. I'm going to open the lid. Okay, anyway. <laughs> okay. So we got another stock. We're gonna pour it in here. And listen, listen, escuchen, mi amores, escuchen, listen. You do not need no full pot full of no juice to cook cabbage, greens. They make their own juice. You need a shallow pot full of stuff and it makes it do what it do period now if any time that you are cooking it and it runs out of water one you may be cooking it too high we're cooking these kind of greens we cook them a long time we want them to be good and tender you know what i'm saying so you really want to either cut the heat down but you do check it periodically because i'll be frank and honest with four pounds of the greens, I may have to add a little bit of stock, but I'm not adding water. I will add more stock, whether it's bone chicken broth, whether it's a chicken pack. I will, because I need all of the flavor. Um, and I love water to drink separately on its own, but when I flavor in my food, I don't, uh, yeah, um, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna put a little bit of Cayenne. Now it don't take that much. We ain't trying. We ain't trying to burn nobody up. But you know, we trying to give it a little, a little kickster. Now we're gonna go in with a little bit of vinegar. I gotta open it up. Hang on. Okay, so we're going in with a half a cup of apple cider vinegar, and we're gonna drop in a couple bay leaves. Bay leaves is listen. Bay leaves is the best thing. God ever created. Well, besides us. <laughs> yeah. Drop a couple bay leaves in there. And like I said, we'll wait a little bit on the sugar. So now we're going to cover this up and we're going to get this to a boil. Okay. So we got some boiling action going. Mm. Let me tell y'all something. Oh, that smell. That, that vapor. Ooh wee. You gotta you gotta appreciate some good vapor when you're boiling something. Anyway, so now we have I've meant to mention this, like I got some leftover oil. 
um, that you also wanna add in as well to your greens. This, this broth here is for if the water evaporates. So you just put a little touch. And this can't be measured. If I have to say it's measured, you put about one and a half tablespoons of oil in your water, you know, to give it a little, you know, is it? so it's, it's doing real good. So I got the first batch of greens in this pot and I'm gonna have to put it down and show you how I'll put it in, okay? Hang on. Okay, so remember, I told you, you know, it was gonna look kind of full. I'm gonna put the camera on it. It looks brim, to the rim with brim. Y'all y'all new kids, y'all don't know what that means, but it looked like it's filled to, <laughs> to the rim with brim. However, I still have about a half a pot. I haven't put them in the pot yet, but I still got about a half a pot of greens to go in here. So we're just gonna wait till it cooks down because it will. I have all faith in my greens. They're gonna cook down. You let them cook for a while. Then you add the rest in. It don't matter that they're gonna be newcomers. They're gonna be okay. And um, then we're gonna go on now to the yams. Okay, y'all. So as you can see, it's not so full no more. It's already cooking down. The little bit of greens I got left will definitely fit in this pot now that I've stirred um, it up together. So I'm about to put that in, and then we're gonna let it cook for a good, good while, okay? All right, so we got our greens. Look, our greens are pumping, honey. I told y'all this stove, I had to cut it down. I'm gonna show you now where it's at. Now it's on two. This, this stove here is no joke, which is a good thing. And see, I'm also proving my other theory. I hope you can see past the the smoke. You see all that juice? You see all that juice? And that's just from that little small little bit of stock. I didn't add any water to this, you know? So you don't have to put a whole bunch of juice in your arm. Um... Now, maybe if you cooking with a turkey neck or, or a turkey wine, you know, a smoked turkey wine or turkey neck, then you might, but I think even that little bit of water because I don't cook with turkey wine, turkey neck, and I, I still didn't need that bunch of uh, water. So the green, I, I just, I know we're supposed to be moving on to the yams, but I just had to check on my greens, see how they bubbling. up the sweet potatoes listen let me give you a tip with cutting sweet potatoes okay raw sweet potatoes are hard as heck to cut up so you have to have the right tools i, I don't and i don't have the right tools to show you <laughs> but listen it is worth you investing in a very good chopping knife and a peeler, a potato peeler, a, um, <clears throat> trust me, it'll save you time later. If you want real, like, cause you can go buy that mess in a can. You can, you, you can. And you can actually use that same recipe as long as you pour off the syrup on it. But there's nothing like a real sweet potato turning into a yam. That's all I gotta say about that. Now, so we are going in with two whole sticks 
of margarine, if I can get it off of here. Okay, trust me on this. You do not need any water in these yams. You do not put any water in these yams. I am going to repeat. You do not put any water into these yams. All right? So then you're going to take, this is one cup of sugar. So you're going to put two cups, two parts white to one part brown sugar. Okay? So we got... One, I don't know. This is a lot. This is a lot more um, yams. So we're going to do, we're going to put another scoop in here just to make sure. So that means since we got three cups of sugar, then we're going to do about one and a half of the brown sugar. So now we got sugar and the brown sugar okay we're gonna go in with some cinnamon now this is this is listen you put in as much as you want to you do what you want to i am a cinnamon girl so i kind of put some on my butter you know what i'm saying so then after that we go in with some pure vanilla extract now i say <clears throat> for a normal pot, we will put just maybe one tablespoon. But this is not a normal size pot. So we're going to go in with two. This is the thing about sweet potatoes. This is why I'm telling you no water. You don't add water because sweet potatoes have a lot of hidden juice, water in it as well. So you don't want to go in... <clears throat> And and make you want you want a syrup you want it to be kind of sticky, you know what I'm saying? Sticky icky icky. <laughs> I'm so funny tonight. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the sea salt. We're gonna put a tablespoon of sea salt just to cut some of the sugary. We might do two. I don't know. That's a lot of damn salt. Ooh, yeah. We're just gonna do one. See, a lot of this I'm teaching you. But a lot of this is, I see it with my eye. You know what I'm saying? And then once it gets to cooking, I taste it, and then I make adjustments. And that's what I want you to adopt as well. You start out with a basic ingredient, the uh, basic recipe. You go in, let it cook, and then you adjust to your taste. But this is the basis. So we did with this big pot, because this is a big pot. Let me go back to show you. Like, this is a big, big pot of yams. So we did two sticks of butter. We did three of white sugar. We did half of that with the brown. So we did a cup and a half of the brown sugar. We went in with a teaspoon of salt. We just kind of did the cinnamon to taste. And then we did two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. And then we're gonna put a lid on it and we're gonna let it simmer. And then I'll let you, when it come, when it's time to check back in on it, I'll let you back in, okay? Yay! <laughs> okay, my beautiful peeps, it's time to check on the yams. Let's see what they looking like in here. See, that's what I'm talking about. See, and this is juice. No water. I had no water, no orange juice, no blah, 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 blah. This is nothing but every ingredient that I showed you. Butter. Sugar. Brown sugar. Cinnamon. And... The, the vanilla extract. <laughs> that is all this is. And you see how much juice it made? Now, we want it to keep on cooking so it can be a syrup. So do not add water to your yams, y'all. If you're doing it, quit that mess. Pronto, tanto. And this is a double batch for me. I usually don't make a batch this big, so I kind of doubled the recipe. So you cut it in half. If, while we over here, Let's check on our greens. Look, these greens over here bubbling, bubbling, brown sugar. Look, me. It's over. Why? 
I did everything. I did the yams. I prepped the roast. I did the greens. Everything is done. So, I mean, we good for right now. So, what we're going to do is get up in the morning. And then we're going to vlog our Thanksgiving days. I decided. I, I executive decision. I just decided. I'm going to put it all together. Because I can only get but a little bit of footage, footage anyway. Because I am working tomorrow afternoon at 3. Um, and I'm going to attempt. I'm going to attempt. If you watch me, then you know that I do health challenges. Um, I'm, so I'm going to combine a little bit of the other vlog that is coming out. My November challenge is 15,000 steps for 15 days. And I achieved 15,000 steps today. You better know it. Um, I am unsure if I am going to be able to do it tomorrow. However, I'm going to give it the old college try. I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning and attempt a 10,000 step workout with get fit with rick and it's not going to be all like ball breaking he's a walking workout expert shout out to get fit with rick he's all the way over in dubai and i've been watching this man for a long time i just love him he is just so full of energy he is so good i love him and he helps you get your steps and he makes you want to get out there and dance and get it get it <laughs> He has a 10,000 step workout. I am going to attempt to do it tomorrow morning because I have nothing else to do. It's clean in here. Um, food is done. Um, and then you're gonna meet my family. Um, quick disclaimer, um, you might, <laughs> I don't know. I love my family, bless they are. I love my family, I do. That's about all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> touches on our meal you see the greens are still bubbling um if you don't know if you can't tell when your greens are done a lot of the time it's a matter of opinion um like my daughter my daughter when she cook her greens she kind of like them still leafy you see them? leafy you see what i'm saying that's the best way to describe it but see i like mine to be a little bit more tender so you know they they come it's coming along good so i just kind of swatch it out a little bit then let it simmer and cook i did add my brown sugar already i added about say about a half a cup for this big pot if you're cooking a smaller pot you only need a couple of teaspoons um so let's check on the yams which they are i just pulled them out so they are not ready yet but look at all that goodness Ooh, look at that remember the key to good yams is no water and use regular good old sweet potatoes so we're gonna get these heated back up you let it start bubbling get all that syrup look at all that goodness you don't put water in your yams y'all you want them to be good and good and juicy so remember, just one stick of butter if you're doing a half of this. Usually, I only do a small amount because a lot of people don't eat a lot of yams. But it's Thanksgiving and we have people over. Now, let's go see what the granddaddy is doing. Now, it is now, what time is it? It is 1.05. So this baby has been cooking on high for about two hours. I started at about 11. So let's see, don't don't judge me, don't judge me. I lost a little thing, don't judge me. <laughs> so we are about to see what's really popping with the rolls. This is my first time looking at, look at that. Ooh, that thing is getting something serious. And see in two, two hours in a crock pot on high, you don't expect to see real bubbling yet. So this is coming along real good. We are not gonna stir it up yet. We're gonna wait till it get to really Popping because you see, you see 
the blood. See, it's starting to boil a little bit on the bottom, but we want it to kind of get, get righteous all around. You know what I'm saying? So we'll wait about another hour or two and come stir it some more, stir it for the first time, and then we'll continue. I usually will cut it on low after the third or fourth hour to let it simmer out, and then um, it'll be ready to go. So I hope that you enjoyed this episode of the, well, the cooking part. There is going to be a second part to the episode coming up. My family is about to come over. And even though I have to work, I can be in and out. I can, I can work a little bit, then come downstairs, have, you know, chit chat, or they might come visit me. You know, that's just how it is. You know, when you, you work as a medical person, you, you be, you be on it. 365 24-7, you know, man, shout out to anybody who is a uh, medical worker or a first responder because, you know, we have to pick and choose which holidays that we can get off because no matter what, health always comes, you know, it, it don't matter about a holiday when it comes to health. And it's okay, I've worked my plenty of Thanksgivings, plenty of Christmases, and I just work my way around it. I just thank the Lord. I'm thankful that I am able to work at home over the past, you know, couple of years, uh, because usually I would have to go into the office, which would still be fun. We'll do stuff in the office and stuff, but now that I'm able to be at home, it is an even greater blessing, and I am thankful. So, blah, 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 I done told y'all all head off enough. We gonna get to it when family gets here. that's in the oven that my niece Tay Tay Octavia this my baby baby you, like it's no, you and him is the only person that called me by my real name Octavia and I hate it well I okay. hate it you and him call me by my real name and I hate it well you know the I government it, put it on a birth certificate I'm so loved anyway y'all so hopefully we gonna eat sometime um, you know, black people on CP time just can't get it together. He said he liked my name because he never heard no idea. So I'm going to enjoy my family, y'all. Thank y'all so much for coming through. Remember to watch and like the video and peace and blessings because I'm so thankful for y'all. Hold on, y'all. An honorable mention. Yes, no. This girl see all this food for Thanksgiving. She asking for some chips. What is wrong with the younger general? Okay, this is Bree. This is like my half daughter. I don't know what to say. She's she's my baby. That's my baby daddy daughter. Don't ask. We just a blended family around here. So anyway, we out of here. We out of here. We we in these streets. We in these Thanksgiving streets. And honestly, y'all, I gotta go back upstairs to work. Bye. <laughs>